Welcome back to Grizz Vision, brought to you by the Evans Law Group here with Rob Beam after a 3-0 loss to Wright State at the arena. And Rob, you know, you look at this match, especially in particular in that third set, I, I thought the first half of that third set, you guys you guys showed some physical dominance there in a, in a stretch against Wright State, and that certainly is something I think you can take away from this match. I, I mean, I think the biggest thing is, you know, they're defending champions for a reason. I think they had six hitting errors for the entire match, and, uh, you know, like it's very difficult to beat a team that's going to be that clean in the offensive phase. Uh, I thought the best stretch of volleyball we played was probably to about the 15th point or so in the uh, – you know, in the third set, I thought we, we were connecting offensively. I thought our defensive effort and execution and organization was really good. Uh, even like small ball plays, coverages, like the little things make a big difference. Uh, when you're playing a team that's going to dig as many balls as Wright State and scrap and keep the ball alive, you've got to do the same thing on your side. And I thought we did that at times today. Um, really, the big thing is we got to be able to execute consistently uh, over the duration of the match. And I think, you know, as we, the season progresses, we're going to have a chance to to hopefully play them again in the Horizon League tournament. We'll be better prepared. We'll know what we need to do, and you know, hopefully we'll come out on top then. Uh, Rob, what, what do you guys do like as a coaching staff? I mean, again, going back to it, and, and you talked about it, you brought it up. I mean, Wright State's so good. When they play that clean, what 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 can you do as a coaching staff? What can you do to, to try to crack that, get them out of rhythm? Well, I mean, I think that always starts with serving. You know, if, if you can get a team out of system, then you've got a chance to turn points. And I think, like, we were able to get them out of system, but we weren't turning the point. Um, you know, and, and part of that goes to credit to Wright State. They're also really good. You know, so if you're playing this out of system game where it's like one team's out of system and one team's out of system, then you're getting these points where, you know, the athletes are physically exhausted, you know, and um, you know, I think the, the we do have some, you know, experience playing on these back-to-back -back nights, but I also think that, you know, the COVID period has been difficult you know, as, as mentally tough as these athletes are, um, you know, you can see fatigue setting in after the, the length sure. and the duration of the match last night, the extended rallies between two great defensive teams. Like there's, you know, this is a, some real demand. And, you know, I think like the biggest thing for us as the coaches is you got to help talk the players through it, um, look for openings to offensively like attack the opponent. And then, you know, hopefully we're executing well enough to take advantage of those things. And, you know, as you pointed out in the third set, I thought we did a great job. Setters did a good job making adjustments. Passes work really good, and you know, I think we're going to be able to build on that. All right, Rob, as always, appreciate the time. Thank you very much. Thank you.